Hey everyone, what's going on? Jeff here from Films at Home, and in today's review, we're going to be diving into The Witch on 4K with this brand new HDR color grade presented by Second Sight Releasing over in the UK. Hey everyone, so thanks for coming back to the channel today for this review. Now, I know The Witch has been out on 4K from Lionsgate in the US for some time, but I was just able to get my hands on the new Second Sight release of The Witch on 4K. Now, Second Sight's been doing awesome work with 4K releases recently. They have a ton of really cool box sets, but I'll talk about all that and we'll talk about the packaging and the special features, but I also really wanted to get this because this was the first 4K release that had been supervised by director Robert Eggers. The Lionsgate release, apparently he was actually not a very big fan of, didn't like the way that they color graded with HDR, and so he went back and redid it. They actually delayed this release so that he could come on and give his vision, and I'll talk all about that and what that means for this 4K release, plus all of the goodies you're getting if you pick this one up from Second Sight over in the UK. So diving right into The Witch. This is the 2015 movie uh, originally released by A24. It was director Robert Eggers' first feature film, first big theatrical release. He then went on to do The Lighthouse and now The Northman. He's one of the best up-and-coming directors in my opinion, one of my favorite directors. And so I love the Witch, especially being a native New Englander born and raised here. The New England folklore is super creepy all the way back to Salem Witch Trials and beyond that. There are still tons of really creepy forests everywhere you go in New England. The history is here. It's I love this movie because of the, the ambiance and the environment that Robert Eggers creates because it it still stands true today. New England is kind of a creepy place. The other cool thing is Robert Eggers actually grew up in New Hampshire about, I don't know, two or three towns over from where I'm going to be moving next month. So I'm going to be right in his neck of the woods and, you know, hey, maybe it'll rub off on my son and he'll be the next Robert Eggers or maybe I'll have a genius idea and I'll become uh, a filmmaker. I don't know, but clearly something inspired him up in New Hampshire and his upbringing in New England to create The Witch and it's why I love the movie so much. Now on this 4K release as I mentioned Robert Eggers came in and he said he, he wanted control. He wanted to look at the HDR, look at the way this was color graded and redo it to his vision because he really was not happy with what Lionsgate did. Now The Witch originally came out on Blu-ray then there was a 4K release I think a year or two later because 4 4K was just kicking off when The Witch came out and I remember seeing both the Blu-ray and the 4K release. I owned them both from Lionsgate and I have to say this movie is very very dark at times. Extremely dark. It is candle lit literally. The cinematography it, it's beautiful but the lighting is candles like it's very authentic and so the Blu-ray release and even the 4K that was put out by Lionsgate um, had a bit of an issue sometimes with like black crush and it was really really hard to uh, make out what was happening in some of the scenes and so that's really what i was looking for here was like has that been improved at all has there been a bit of a, a you know a better color grade done because i expected hdr and 4k to make this movie look better and i honestly don't think it did many favors when it came out on 4k now while watching this i did notice that there is clearly a an improved color grade and i do think it's better than what we were previously given and clearly having the director Eggers involved I think helped and so Second Sight was really smart to delay this and allow him to come in and do his work because while it still maintains a fairly dark image and it's not changing that dark candle lit environment I do like the way that it looks a lot better. It's not going to be drastically different, but I think it has a different bit of hue. Saturation is a little bit different and the contrast is a little bit better so that, you know, blacks are really black and you don't get sort of really poor black crush. And there's a good gray scale here to play with. Most of the movie 
fairly gray. Even, you know, everything from outfits to, I mean, the faces of the, the characters, I mean, are basically pale white. Everything is kind of black to white on this gray scale. And I think having Robert Eggers come in and really supervise it uh, makes for a much improved experience. Now, detail-wise and the quality of the 4K, this was shot digitally. It was shot at 2K. It's very dark. It was shot in kind of rough environments, candle lit. It's a beautiful movie. It looks incredible on 4K, but don't expect too big of a difference there being a 2K upscale. The big selling point for this one, visually at least, is definitely the HDR and the new color grade by Robert Eggers. And I do think if you want to own the best version of The Witch, this is now it. Now, outside of that, of course, there are other reasons to pick this one up from Second Sight. First being this beautiful box set. It is Arrow video quality. They're sort of the standard for box sets. It's that nice heavy cardboard. It has artwork on the front and on the back. Now, on the inside, this is one of the most impressive things I've seen on any release. You get this great hardcover book. I mean, this thing is loaded. I want to say, yeah, 145 pages, multiple essays, photos, behind the scenes photos, set photos. You've got multiple essays in here about the, the witch's accurate portrayal of early New England, Into the Woods, The Witch as Folk Horror and Fairy Tale, Nothing But Our Innocent Blood, Set and Costume Designs, Diabolical Dualities, Sympathy for the Devil, The Sound of Dissonance in the Witch, Sympathy for the Witch, Witchcraft as a Metaphor of Problems in Modern Life. It's just an incredibly cool little companion and I love that they brought back the original kind of poster art for this. Also included are these sort of like lobby cards. You get some art cards with the Black Phillip and you've got a rabbit, you've got Thomason here and Anya Taylor-Joy. Um, a few of those that come in a nice little package. So, you know, those are cool little art cards. If you do collect those, maybe you could frame them, put them in a frame, might look pretty cool. Now the disc packaging itself comes in this little digi pack. Although it is just cardboard, it does have nice plastic disc holders. You've got artwork here on the blue Blu-ray disc, which you can see is region B locked, and then your 4K disc here has some different artwork, and that is region free. Now, as I mentioned, you will have issues playing the Blu-ray if you don't have a region free player, but the beauty is the 4K disc holds all the special features. So you can buy this and not have to basically worry about ever playing the Blu-ray. 4K is gonna be the best version to watch. That's really what you're buying this set for and you won't have any issues accessing those special features, which are actually pretty heavy and a lot of new stuff included. So for the special features, there's a, a new interview with Robert Eggers. There's a new interview with basically every member of the original cast. There's a BFI panel that looks uh, behind the scenes and talks to the different actors on, on what's going on there. It's about 10, 15 minutes long. There also is a kind of making of featurette that's included. There's a lot of really good stuff here. These interviews with the cast and Robert Eggers all brand new interviews. Everything in that booklet I showed you, those are new essays that are exclusive to this. It's a really well done set, right on par with some of the best work that say an Arrow video has done with limited edition releases. And it's why Second Sight is quickly becoming one of my favorite boutique distributors out there because they are giving movies like The Guest and The Witch and Drive and lots of other movies that deserve great releases these awesome box sets that nobody else is doing and being in the uk they have different licensing so they were able to license this from universal with no problem at all and that's really cool i'm super pumped about what they have coming next because their stuff is top-notch quality. Now, if you do want to pick this up, there's a few ways to get it. There are some places in the United States which are carrying this. I believe you can order it from like Grindhouse Video or Diabolic DVD. I would have to guess that like Orbit DVD, which is a, a store out of North Carolina that I found that has a good website, I would have to guess they're probably carrying this. They carry lots of second sight stuff. And I'll also leave you an Amazon link if that's your preferred way to do it. But it is going to be fairly easy to import. Second Sight is making these available in the United States. United States, overseas, and throughout Europe. So it's easy to get your hands on, and it's an excellent box set that I have to say is an absolute must have for fans of The Witch and A24 movies, fans of horror movies, fans of New England folklore, witches, whatever you're a fan of. If it ties into this movie, you're going to need this box set, and this is by far the best video.
visual representation of the witch that we've had on physical media. I loved the way that this movie looks and the HDR color grading with Robert Eggers' supervision just enhances it even further. I think it's a great grab and I'll leave all those links in the description if you want to pick it up. But that's it for the review, so make sure you're subscribed and like this video so others will see it. Let me know in the comments if you guys have grabbed this one already or if you have it on the way, I'd highly recommend it. And make sure to follow us on social media. All those links are in the description. You can find me Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, all those places where you can get in touch with me outside of YouTube, as well as links to all of our partners and discount codes that help support me and give you guys a little bit of a discount on lots of my favorite items. So thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe and healthy out there, and I'll talk to you guys soon.